Hey guys, today I'm bringing you along for two houses in three days of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. There's going to be some satisfying room transformations and I'm getting ready for summer. So a lot of going through closets and organizing and all of that. And I guarantee you will leave this video feeling good and motivated to get something done. So this was on day one of cleaning and I was starting my little cleaning workout in the morning by making the bed, picking up the bedroom. I was going to wash some bath toys, then clean up the living room in the kitchen. And there's a lot of fun going on in today's video because I'm going to be going through the girls' rooms, their closets, decluttering, um, pulling out some summer clothes and organizing all of that in their dressers. I'm also going to be helping out a friend's friend's parents who just recently moved into a new condo and they asked for some help cleaning and you know I'm that girl. I'm there to help clean. So I went into their new condo that they bought and did some cleaning over there it wasn't it was like a new condo to them it wasn't like a brand new built condo so i was able to go in and do a lot of cleaning and you'll see some transformations later on in the video but we got it all cleaned up and yeah that's what we're going to be doing in today's video So if this is your first time to Jamie's journey, welcome. I want to make for sure you feel welcome when you're here. I am truly glad that you're here hanging out with me. And I don't know, I just, I love all of you guys. You're all amazing. And I hope that this video makes your day brighter. I hope it gives you some motivation or maybe you just feel like, you just feel like better that you're hanging out with someone. So whatever you're looking for, I hope I give that to you. But I am Jamie and I am married to my husband Mike. He is a financial analyst. We've been married for 13 years, almost 13 years. We have three daughters. So if you want to know why my house is always messy, you can thank those lovely little girls for the mess, but they're worth it. So my oldest daughter is seven and then I have twin three-year-olds and I'm just a girl that's really passionate about passionate about cleaning and organizing and trying to make it easier and more fun for you because I know it's not always fun or easy for people. I'm also very passionate about eating healthy and my fitness and also finding recipes that are simple and easy because I hate to cook. So that is what I like to sh share here on my channel. And I also like to show you guys real life messes like having marinara sauce drip down your island because in our home, we have those real life messes. And hopefully when you guys see it, maybe if you have those messes in your home, then you don't feel like you're alone because you're, you're not. So thank you everyone for being here. So 
so it has been a long time since I've cleaned these uh, pendant lights and I don't think I've ever used my DIY cleaner that I make up which I'm not sure why I've never used this cleaner but it ended up being the perfect cleaning solution for these clear pendant lights so my DIY cleaner is one part rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol one part water and I say one part just because it all depends on the size of your spray bottle they come in different sizes so one part alcohol one part water and then about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap I don't measure it out I just like squirt a little bit you don't want too much so I just eyeball it and for the most part I don't have any issues and it is truly an amazing multi-surface cleaner I just don't use it on wood so any other surface for the most part I will and I made it made these pendant lights so shiny and there was zero streaking which was amazing because all of the other cleaners I've ever used for these pendant lights left some sort of streaking So for the most part, we don't let the kids eat in the living room. I mean, we're not super strict about it. Um, I'm, like, I'm not going to say that they, we, we, they never eat in the living room, but there's really no reason why they can't sit at the table. Like if they're eating a snack, there's no reason why they can't sit at the table and watch TV if that's what they're doing. Um, so it, it's, it makes it easy since we have that open concept. But to be honest, of course you have rules, but for the most part, I mean, we're not like 100% strict about it. And sometimes life happens and it gets easier to let them have a snack or two. I think at the time I was trying to multitask, do something with Avery, and I you know, needed the twins to be situated. So I gave them a snack and we also got over from all being sick a couple weeks ago. And so we were more relaxed then. So I think that's where all of the crumbs came from. So I wanted to go in and vacuum the couch and then under the cushions and just kind of keep up on this because the, the sectional that we have is newer and I want to keep, well, it's like over a year old, but I want to take good care of it as much as I can. And so I was going to vacuum and then I was also going to spray this new Clorox disinfecting mist. So I think that's the key word. Then the other antibacterial or disinfecting cleaners that I have, this one is like the way it sprays. It's a very, very fine continuous mist, which when I saw it, I was like, I think this will be perfect for furniture because it doesn't like saturate or get a specific area very wet when you're spraying it. So I tried it out and I thought it was pretty perfect for furniture. Okay, so to be completely transparent, I had used that carpet cleaner, I think the week before, and it just kicked my butt that I didn't take the time to clean it out. So while I had the Bissell steam shot out, I was actually using it for something else earlier in the day. I busted it out and properly cleaned and then disinfected the bottom part of the Bissell carpet cleaner. So did that super quickly. And then I was refilling my cleaning cloths that I keep under the sink just because it's, sometimes it's easier just to grab a cloth when they're right there and the dishwasher pods. And then I was going to quickly declutter under the sink. This is the area that I feel like I have to periodically go in and declutter and just reorganize. So there were some cleaning products that, you know, maybe 
they had ran its course and I didn't think they were as good as I thought they were in the past. Like the, there were some Dawn disinfecting wipes and the smell just every time I would use them, the smell just kept getting, getting to me. So like products like that, that I'll give away to someone else and taking some cleaning products upstairs in the laundry room where I keep some more of my cleaning products. Um, but just kind of sprucing up under the sink. I hate when this area is a mess because then I can't find anything. So that's what I was doing. So and then here I was switching out the clothes for the twins. They're kind of in a transitional period. They're between like 3T and 4T. And I wanted to pull out specifically the 4T summer clothes and put those in their dresser and have them all ready for the summer. So um, I have saved all of Avery's old clothes. So I pulled those out of storage and it was crazy. I, I had washed them, I think a few days before this. So they were all ready to go, ready to be organized into their dresser drawers. And um, I've been asked a lot about potty training and how that's going. You guys also probably saw me organizing the diapers in that um, pink bin on the dresser. So I'm hoping that is our that is our last box of diapers. We'll see the girls only wear diapers at night. And I would say it's about half the time they're dry when they wake up and half the time they're not. So we'll see. Other than that, they wear... They don't wear anything, no pull-ups, no diapers during the day, and they rarely have accidents, which I think is really cool. Like, it was like a switch for them, and I know you're probably, I, I get asked a lot of questions like, did you do anything specific or special, and we didn't. The one thing that I was pretty adamant about was not pushing them until I knew they were ready because with Avery, we made that mistake, you know, um, at the time I was working outside the home as was, you know, Mike, we were both leaving every day. So Mike's mom would come over to our house and watch Avery while we were at work and my mother-in-law would work with her. I, you know, we would work with her constantly. She was our only child. So we were like able to fully focus and like follow her around on the weekends and things like that. And she just never grasped, grasped it at all, like never grasped it. And so we're, we just like backed off and then it was like a switch as soon as she turned three, like she went from nothing to being fully potty trained within like a week. And she, I think we bought one box of pull-ups. Like she went from like not being potty trained to fully potty trained even at night. It was crazy and she never had an accident. So it was like, all right, I've learned my lesson. I'm not pushing it. Like let them guide when they're ready. And that's exactly the same way it was for Avery. There is one other tip that we did that I'll share here in a little bit. So there were some 5T clothes mixed in with the 4T clothes. We actually had like two bins. Um, I didn't even know we had two bins. So I went through, I divided up and hung up the 4T clothes and put them in the dresser. And then all of the 5T clothes I put in this garment bag, a vacuum sealed garment bag. And I put it in there and then I vacuum sealed it to kind of make it smaller. And then I store it under their crib. So that way like those big tubs aren't taking up so much room which is what the problem was before so then i got these vacuum sealed bags and it just saves a lot of room and we wouldn't really have anything under their beds anyways so it's just nice to put the storage under there 
Um, but I'm just hanging up all of the 4T clothes. But yes, okay, potty training. The one thing that we did that I could say like would be a potty training hack, I did this for Avery, is so in both bathrooms, we have the potty chairs that actually go in the real potty. And then we have the little potties um, as well. And I took a little potty out to the living room. So when we were playing in the beginning, I noticed that Avery didn't want to stop to play to go to the bathroom so when I put the little potty out by her toys she realized oh okay I can go potty and I don't have to go to the like bathroom like I don't have to like leave my toys and that was game changing for her and really like propelled her um when she like until she was finally potty trained and I've done it with the twins and it also worked very very well good night girls good night sleep tight love you Good night, Emery. Love you. Love you. Love you. You stinker butt. There is nothing more satisfying than neat and organized dresser drawers. Am I right? And I will have the dresser drawer organizers linked below. Okay guys, I'm ready to get started. This is their brand new condo. They're really excited and I'm excited to help them out and get this condo all cleaned up so they can move in next week. I have my little arsenal of cleaning supplies. But yeah, I'm ready to go, ready to get all of this clean for them and it should be a good little morning. I come with all of the essentials. I didn't really know what I was getting into. Like I didn't know what surfaces they had or all of that. So I'm like, okay, let's bring everything. Pretty much that I had all of my top heavy hitters as supplies. Brought some snacks to hold me over and I think we're ready to go. So to be honest with you, it was kind of fun to switch up. I mean, I say this before when I cleaned my parents' home, it was kind of fun to switch up the space that I was cleaning. But even more so, I was looking at this as a challenge because like I said before, I didn't know what I was getting into. I um, like, I didn't know how dirty the condo would be. I didn't know how messy it would be. I didn't know what cleaning supplies I would need to clean. So I kind of brought everything and some of like my heavy hitter cleaning supplies that I'm like okay there's probably because I, I don't know when what year the condo was built in um but I knew that it needed to be clean so I figured there would be some different messes in here you know messes that I don't typically see at my home so I was like okay let's bring all of those heavy hitter cleaning products and let's see what I can do and I'm telling I'm going to show you guys some of those heavy hitter cleaning products so like maybe if you have some problem areas in your home I can show you what I use to clean so here I was starting out with the cabinets and the cabinets were pretty dirty specifically inside so I was wiping them down from the outside with my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and that did a really good job on the outside. I also had my Dawn Power Wash. Like there were some like messes that the multi-surface spray did not take up um, inside. And so I had to use the Dawn Power Wash and then a Magic Eraser. So the Dawn Power Wash and the Magic Erasers, those were my heavy hitters for the sticky. I found a lot of stains and a lot of sticky messes inside the cupboard. So those were my heavy hitters and helped me get most of it up.
Well, and like I said before, I had also used this as a challenge because, I mean, my house is newer. I think it was built. We didn't build it. We moved in when it was less than a year old. So I think it's seven years old and my parents' house is new. Um, they built their house. So for the most part, it's, it's easier to clean a newer house because you don't have those years of dirt or, you know, people living in it. So it was nice to try new products and see what would really get up some of the messes that I was having a hard time getting up. And here on the handles of the fridge, and then you'll see me with the dishwasher as well, you can kind of see um, on the handles, they were they were just dirty and it did not come up with the multi-surface spray or the Dawn Power Wash. So then I was like, okay, you need the heavy hitter, Barkeeper's Friend. This cleaner is amazing. My sister-in-law has hard water at her home, and this is the only thing that has taken all of the hard, or hard water stains like off of her toilet, her bathtub, and it's a pretty powerful cleaner. Like, to me, if you cannot get a stain up with Barkeeper's Friend, then it's probably not coming up. So um, I think the three cleaners I used the most here was the Dawn Power Wash, the Magic Eraser, barkeeper's friend and then the scrub daddy power paste so those are my like big time cleaners that i was using Like I said before, this was, this condo was, so one of my really good friends, it's her friend's parents. So my friend's friend, it sounds so confusing. I've met her a couple of times and she's so nice, so wonderful. And so, um, yeah, she had reached out and asked if I would help her parents. And I was like, definitely, because, you know, thinking about it, I just know that if it was my parents and they needed their condo clean, if somebody helped them, you know, it would warm my heart. So I wanted to be able to help them. And I, I hope that me going and cleaning and doing what I could, I was kind of on a time crunch, which was unfortunate. Um, I had wanted and planned to clean more but I had dropped the twins off at preschool in the morning and I only had, I think about three, maybe, maybe three, three and a half hours that I could get this done. So I was limited on time and I wasn't able to get everything done that I wanted to, but I just hope that it made their life easier and better. And I hope I did a good job cleaning. I hope the weather is getting a little bit nicer where you live. I'm sure if you live down south, it's probably been nice for a while. But here in Northwest Ohio, it has not been nice. I think, was it last week? Yeah, I think last week we had one day where it snowed. Like snow was on the ground, accumulating snow. And then five days later, we hit a record high of like 87 degrees. And I'm like, this is why we keep getting sick because this back and forth weather is crazy. Um, now the 87 was so nice. Like we loved it, but that's not typical for 
late April or even early May here in Northwest Ohio. For us, like it's not true shorts weather, at least for me. It is not shorts weather until closer to Memorial Day weekend. So most people don't open their pools. The neighbors behind us did open their pool recently and when it was at 87 degrees they were out there but they said and it's heated but it was 60 60 degrees in their pool so most people around here do not um open their pools or start really start swimming until memorial day weekend so we're almost there we're so ready for that sunshine sunshine the kids are ready to get outside i'm ready to get outside and start running again I'm tired of the treadmill running and i just need i need that vitamin d i need it i need the sunlight for my mood remember you want me i try to fly So I think I said this in another video, but I've really been loving this Sprayway glass cleaner. I do still really, really like the Jaws. The Jaws is a natural cleaner, non-toxic, to where the Sprayway is not non-toxic, but I do think it performs slightly better than the Jaws. So I kind of keep both of them around, but I didn't know, like I said, what I was getting into. I didn't think the mirrors would be too dirty here, but I just wanted to make sure that I brought, without a doubt, my top cleaning products when I came um so I was just here again doing the mirrors wiping down on um the cabinets using the dawn power wash and the mrs myers multi-surface spray and then I was going to use the jaws bathroom cleaners in their showers and in their bathrooms So I didn't even show myself cleaning out that drawer that had hair in it because there's something like, like when you clean up your own home and you know whose hair it is, I mean, hair's never, I don't know, hair can be gross, but it's totally different when it's your family or even friends. But like, I had no idea who lived here um, and I just want to be respectful. It's nothing against the people who live here before, but it's like when you just don't know someone and you see their messes like hair, you're like, ah, so... I cleaned it with some Clorox wipes and had to grab all that hair up. So I didn't even film that because I didn't want you guys to see that. Um, but for there, that um, shower, what I did was I went in first with the barkeeper's friend because it needed to be like, I wanted to give it a good deep clean, the barkeeper's friend. And then I followed that up on the walls and like a second time with the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner. And that's also what I was using um, in the second bathroom as well. I do want to apologize because in some of these angles, it was kind of hard to like position the camera a certain 
a certain way. So if I'm not getting any good shots, please, please forgive me. Um, it was kind of hard to like move the camera and put it in the right positions. Um, but so this mess under the sink, I think was rust. And I have learned that barkeeper's friend is one of the only things that takes rust up that I've had um, at my home. So I tried my best to scrub and I got as much as I could off, but I think at least it got some of it off and I didn't think it looked as bad as it did previously. Hey guys, we are gonna continue on with our list today. And if you're looking at me thinking, Jamie, you look tired. It's because I am tired. I did not sleep well at all last night. We actually had some storms here um, and it woke me up and I just could not go back to sleep. So I got very little sleep last night, um, but I'm feeling pretty good despite not getting sleep. So even though I look tired, I promise I don't feel as tired as I look. <laughs> um, probably should have put on some makeup but there's a few things I want to finish up on my list here I'm unfortunately I'm not going to get through my whole list which is totally fine but just do a few things I want to do during nap time it's almost Avery's birthday um, and a few things I want to get ready for a little party we're having for her and her friends so just going to do a few things um, right now and then try to relax the rest of nap So I was doing a very quick basic wipe down of our bathroom because it was almost Avery's birthday. So we had a combination party um, for our families um, with all three girls, like somewhere in the middle between their birthdays since their birthday is a month apart. And then because Avery's seven and she has some girlfriends, she invited them over while well, we went to Sky Zone, which is a trampoline park. And then they came back here and they played outside. They played in her room. There was a lot of giggling, a lot of fun. And it was a tie-dye party. So I think I... Um, I wore a tie-dye shirt, Mike wore a tie-dye shirt, and so did Avery that said birthday girl that I made with my Cricut. Um, and I think I had like a tablecloth that had some tie-dye in it, and I even got a cake made for her that was tie-dye. I think that was like the first like bakery cake. Like usually we get our cakes from like Kroger or Costco or something like that, but she really wanted a tie-dye cake, and I was like, all right, let's do it. So I got from a local bakery, and the look on her face when she saw that cake made it all worth it. So it was a really good party and the girls had so much fun. The giggling was the best part to hear all of their giggles. We were in the car going to the trampoline park and they were laughing and giggling. And it was just, it's, it's fun. It brings back memories when I was her age and I had, you know, parties with my friends. i mm -hmm. 
So I just got back from getting my nails done and I was like, oh, I forgot to close out the video. Um, but I wanted to show you my list and this is important to show you the list because of course, I don't want it to seem like, oh, I always get my whole list done. I always knock it out of the park. That's not how it works. Um, I actually got a good portion of it done. So I'm gonna choose to focus on the positive. I got a majority of the list done and the most important tasks. So. I didn't get to the microwave, the girls' bathroom, I didn't declutter the hall closet, or clean our bathroom, which it's okay. That's it. Um, I hope you guys have a good, let's see, when are you seeing this video? Thursday, I think? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a good upcoming weekend. We're getting ready for a birthday party, so I'm excited for that. But thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.